Okay, so this is the Charapita. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because one of my viewers brought to my attention that they have an article stating that this pepper is worth $25,000 a kilo. All right, a kilo is quite a bit of these peppers. You're going to need a lot of them to get 25,000. But if you break it down <laughs> to, you know, grams and ounces, even a couple grams is going to fetch you a pretty good dollar. All right, so I, I'm personally not on board with that. And I have looked at the article that was provided in the link. And I can't seem to resource where this information is coming from. It sounds to me as if somebody is just putting this out there to get views or traffic to their channel or something. But I tried to source it. I don't seem to find anything. I will take another look. I'll look a little deeper. I don't have a lot of time this time of the year to actually do the type of research that has to kind of go into this, you know, as far as Google goes and, and YouTube and everything else. Um, I just don't quite have that time right now because I'm getting ready to prepare all these plants to come in. They all got to come in. So, well, not all of them, but you know what I mean. You've seen in my last video what I was saying I was going to do. And so I, it's, just, you know, I, just getting the prep work before I could even bring them in is a... A lot of work and I don't really have the time right now to do the amount of research that really has to go into this even if it's a few hours I really don't have it right now so I read the article the link is going to be I don't know right here or maybe right there I'm not sure which how that works out but it'll be one side or the other and that'll bring you to the old video where the person made the comment and provided the link and I'll also include the link as well either here or here right under it they'll be together you'll see what it is I'll also put it in the description I'll make it easy for you and um, so you can read the article for yourself and like I said I can't seem to source the validity of the article so to me it sounds like somebody's just pumping it up so they can make sales or on this or maybe fetch a couple extra bucks on these and I don't know what to tell you but <laughs> I can't see it costing $25,000 but what I will do right now for you is I will do a taste test yes I'm in my greenhouse it's raining out and I figured I'd shoot this video on. what's up guys <laughs> all right so we're going to pick one of these right now. Let's pick that one. Yeah, Charpita, $25,000 for a kilo. You're probably talking about two, three bucks for this little thing right here, something like that, maybe, give and take. I didn't do the math on it, but I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. But I have tasted these before. They're pretty hot, and I'm going to try to describe the flavor for you here. I'm also doing a specific taste test that I did a while ago. That's going on my other channel, and I'll link everything together if you want to watch that as well. But I'm going to taste it for you right here, and let's see what it tastes like. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I don't heat up or choke to death or anything. It's hot. Immediately, as soon as I eat this, I feel like I want to heat up. A lot of seeds, I'm spitting them out. Very soft texture, melts in your mouth. You're pretty much left with seeds and skin. You mash it with your tongue. You just press it between your tongue and the roof of your mouth. Dissolves instantly. I'm watering because it's hot, okay? Heat. Heat-wise, I'm going to say heat-wise right now, this is probably up in the five or 6,000 range, potentially higher. It's very hot. Burning the whole top of my tongue, going back maybe about that much of my tongue, back, burning it like as if I stuck my tongue on a barbecue grill, just flaming it right up. It's not super hot. Because I'm not heat cupping, but it's hot. As far as taste, it has a very distinct taste. I don't even know how to describe this. The first time I ate it, it tasted just like ivory soap to me. This time, it still kind of tastes like ivory soap, but it has a little bit different of a flavor. It's very slightly. I guess the one I ate was a little younger. It wasn't quite mature. So maybe when they're not really that mature, they got that soap. But this one tasted more like, um, I don't want to say fruity like a habanero. And it's, it, it's not perfumey. might be a little perfumey. 
it's not real tangy. The flavor kind of comes and then goes. The aftertaste I'm tasting right now is the original kind of that soap flavor. It's raining outside. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to describe this for you. The heat's already peaked. It's coming down. But the taste of it, it's a very distinctive taste by itself. I'm sure if I made a, uh, a sauce out of it, like a hot sauce, and I sprinkled it, and I fermented it, and I put it on food and ate it, it would probably enhance taste of it a lot. But by itself, it's got a very distinctive flavor. I'm trying to think what other pepper it might taste like. I don't want to eat another one because they are hot, guys. Oh, man. They are very, very hot. They burn your tongue right away. Heat you right up. That little tiny pepper is as strong as a, a jalapeno whole pepper-wise. If you were to eat a whole jalapeno, it'd be like the heat you would get from a whole jalapeno. One of these little things, they hurt. They're pretty hot. They're up there in the numbers. I, I was borderline of starting to hiccup as soon as I ate the thing. But I did it, so maybe I'm developing a better tolerance to heat a little bit, but as far as... Uh, Take a walk with me while it's raining. It's a bit rainy this whole week, man. This is just... I don't know. I. It's okay. I just... For me, that soap flavor. I guess you gotta like that soap flavor or... Oh man, I don't want to eat another one. Don't make me eat another one. You want me to eat another one? All right, I'll eat another one for you. Talk me into it. I'll eat a small one. Okay, so this is the Charpita again. Really don't want to do this, but for you guys, and everybody wants to get my reaction to this thing, I'm going to eat another one. First one was hot. I want to describe the flavor. The problem is, is describing this flavor. I don't know how to describe this thing. It's different in a lot of ways. It has a lingering effect. It's staying in my mouth. Normally, peppers come and go. Except for certain peppers like uh, fatalis, you know when you eat a fatali or something like that, that flavor kind of just stays in your mouth for a little bit. This is kind of doing something like that. This is a tiny one. Let's do it again. Okay. It's got a fruity taste to it. I'm just doing it for the taste. I don't really want to eat the thing. It's got a little bit of a fruity taste to it. Not quite habanero type fruity. It's, it's different, guys. It's a different type of taste. I can't even really... It's in a world of its own. See, the second one... The heat wise, it's not even affecting me because I already burned myself. Very little, I feel it. Now it's kind of burning the underneath a little bit now, and it's a kind of capsaicin when you try to swallow it, it just irritates your throat a little bit, and you're kind of like, <clears throat> you gotta clear your throat. As far as the taste goes, I don't know what to say. It's in a world of its own. It does have a fruity flavor, but it's not like a habanero fruity. It's, a, it's just a different kind of fruity taste. Now, like I said, some of these I've eaten before tasted like ivory soap. The first one I ever ate, the first thing that came into my mind when I was getting that flavor was ivory soap. Sorry, guys, I'm salivating. It's a hot pepper, guys. This is a very, very hot pepper. In my opinion, this is hotter than a uh, tepin or a, I don't know about Peking, but bird pepper or tepin, this is definitely hotter. It's, it's going to put you on the edge. And that taste that comes up behind it. So I just wanted to give you a taste test. It's not even really a review, but... But this video is mainly geared towards the article that was left in the last video about this costing $25,000 a kilo. That's a lot of those little peppers, by the way. But is it impossible to grow? If it's worth $25,000 a kilo, I'll fill up an acre of land with them. I'll give you 1,000 kilos. Point is, is, is that a true story? So, I'm asking my viewers... If you know anything about, sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm like salivating still. It's hard for me to talk. I got to get this video done, you know? Wow, that's, who the heat on that thing. Anyway, if anybody knows anything about this costing $25,000 a kilo, please comment below. Leave me a link where I can source it. All right? I'm reading these other articles saying that, they're worth twenty-five thousand. To me, it's a rumor. It also sounds like it's a, like a bait, to get you to think that yeah, they're twenty-five grand. I'm going to start buying seeds and growing these things just so I can get my twenty-five grand. First of all, this pepper gave me a real challenge to try to sprout. The seeds were given to me fresh, from somebody up from another country. They were given to me fresh. All right, so. I managed to get one sprouted out of, I don't know, 10 or a dozen seeds. 
may have gotten two sprouts and one of them died. Something to like, like that. I have one that finally lived. They're not an easy pepper to get sprouted, so you, it's going to take some doing. But if you think you're going to grow 25,000 uh, plants on your property or something like that, and get these big barrels full of these peppers, you better have a way to source to get rid of them. Because you ain't going to eat that many of these things. These things are... I guess if you make a sauce out of it, it maybe it's good. I don't know. But if you have a link, and you can source me to where the actual price of these things are. I'm sorry, my camp, my arm's getting tired. It's still hot, guys. I'm burning, all right? I'm burning up. If you can source me to a link, I would really appreciate it. I don't have the time to actually go into depth about this, make phone calls and things like that. I just don't have the time. If I had the time, I'll definitely do it. But if you guys are wondering if this is bologna or something, and you got a little time, you could do some research on it, please do it. And please link it below so everybody can see it. But again, I don't have the time to actually source the information myself. I can't find any kind of price value for these peppers. I know, I do know something now. It is becoming commercially available. A lot, of, it's becoming a staple in certain cuisines and stuff. And um, a lot of companies are picking this pepper up and they're doing stuff with it. What exactly they're doing, I do not know. So I know it's going, its value is going up. But for it to be $25,000 a kilo, sorry, I can't justify that. So I'm just kind of putting it out there and seeing what we could figure out together. And hopefully we could clear up this mess, or this rumor, about $25,000 a kilo, and we could get this rectified. All right? So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.